Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today we're being The Walking Dead, Merle Walker. This figure is from TV Series 5, and the retail price is $14.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. This figure depicts Zombie Merle from Season 3 of The Walking Dead. Essentially, they took the TV Series 3 Merle Dixon figure and repainted him adding in some slight changes here and there to both the sculpt and of course the paint detailing. On the back of the figure there's not much to really see other than his nicely sculpted jacket and pants. The jacket is mainly painted in black and his pants are painted in green. The head sculpt is exactly the same just with blood stains and black and gray shadowing applied here and there to give him the zombie look. The eyes are almost sunken in, giving him a very creepy appearance. Underneath his black jacket is a white shirt, which has heavy blood stains on it from where he got shot by the governor. Sculpted onto the front of the jacket itself is two pockets, and the sleeves are rolled up on both arms. His left arm is heavily soaked in blood, and on his right arm is a prosthetic hand made out of leather straps, metal parts, and a metal baseball bat. It's actually a completely new sculpt with an alternate knife that has blood stains on it. Attached to the belt is a holster, along with a knife sheath on the right side, and a bayonet sheath on the left. Sculpted onto the pants is multiple pockets, which have zippers that are painted in silver. And his boots have sculpted laces and blood stains on them. He doesn't come with any weapons or accessories, but the articulation for the Merle Walker includes a ball jointed head, ball hunched shoulders, swivel right bicep, hinged right elbow, ball hunched left elbow, swivel left forearm, ball hunched left wrist, swivel waist, ball jointed hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. So for about $15, this was a simple figure for McFarlane to make, and they executed it perfectly. Essentially, it's our first super articulated walker figure, and the fact that they went out of their way to change something as simple as the knife really shows how dedicated they are to keeping this line accurate. If you're a Walking Dead fan, you know this is a must-have for your collection. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.